guys, Mr. Light is here, hopefully with the finale of Captain Morgan and the Golden Turtle. We need to go and find the Great Spirit Egg and basically get to it before the turtle dies. And it's been taken by the flipping village chief, the shaman. Now then. There's nothing I can do while the guard's in front of the altar house. Okay. Now then. No, no, I don't want to do that. Huh, I've got more. No, I don't want to do that. I think I've missed something a second. Hang on. Um, okay, there's something here I've missed, I think. Oh, hang on. Yes, 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 yes. I remember what I've done wrong. Hang on. Even though uh, the golden turtle tells you that the shaman took it, You've actually got to speak to Tanama to know where his hut is. Tanama? Yes, Morgan? Can you look after the Golden Turtle? It'll be a privilege to do so. What will you do? I'm going to find this spirit egg. If Baba Carey is the one who's taken it, it may be in his hut. Is the shaman's hut the one with the altar and the amber turtle? Of course not. That's the altar house. Baba Carey lives in a bright red hut. Thanks, Tanama. Right. Now we can go over there and get our hands on the egg. And bring it back to our friend the turtle. Yeah, this game is getting... This game at this point gets really weird. But I think the one thing that kind of gets me a bit awkward is the fact that the main villains are basically Hillary and Simpkins and Barbara Carey but they barely made an appearance in the game to get that egg heck the shamans basically only appeared here at the end of the game and Hillary was mainly only spoken speaking of them when my business is finished here, I'm going to take everything I can from the winsome maid. Oh, no, you won't. That is a fine ship. I am planning on scuttling it, but you may take it if you wish. Who in the hell does Simpkins think he is? He'll never get his hand on the winsome maid as long as I draw breath. That little pain in the neck. Right. They got an egg to find. The idiot forgot to lock his door. Okay. Start with, we gotta get some items. We gotta take these two here. And if you go over here, you can find the bone needle, which we will need. And if you go over here, you will find some tough threads. Now then, what we want to do now is combine that leaf needle I with the threads. I created this bag on my first attempt. Then we want to combine the two skins to get. No, no, we don't. We want to use the thread on the my first skin. My skills have come in handy, but it's not complete. Then we want to combine that with the other this one. That bag looks pretty good if I do say so myself. So now we got a bag. Very useful. Well, now, well, well. I'm sure I can work out how to open. Now, probably guessed is the fact this is one of these roulettes where you turn something and the other things turn as well. You probably guessed, due to this uh, land's um, turtles, the fact they worship turtles, 
you are lining up the four turtles. And that's how you do it. Oh my, this is wonderful. Let's take it. Youch! Ouch, that hurt. I need something to pick it up with. Leave that to the bag we made. It's much lighter than I expected. Hmm. Perhaps the great spirit is not a being of substance. Let's take it. Oh. Trapped. Some kind of mechanism was activated. Well, we do have another egg. There's a kind of counterweight system working here. Thank you, Bobby. You really helped us out here, actually. To the golden turtle. I can't believe that. That was just unbelievable. Uh, oh, no. Now there are two guards. Oh, this is bad. If I don't deal with them both, I'll be stuck here forever. Well, there's one person who can help us. Or in this case, one bird. Get him! Oh, hey, get away! Stop doing that! <laughs> now to deal with the other guard. And we just gotta go up to him, apparently. Hello, it's a beautiful day. What are you doing here? The golden turtle is dying! You're lying! I'm afraid it's true. I've been entrusted with the task of ensuring the next golden turtle hatches successfully. I don't believe a word you say. I haven't been made guard of the month for nothing. Really? Wow, I'm impressed. Guard of the month. Three months in succession too. You know, the two of us should get a few of the others together one night and have a drink to celebrate. Just stay where you are. And if you try to draw your weapon, you are dead meat. Must be a non-drinker, are you? Uh, wait, what was that? Uh, uh, oh wow, that really frightened Diego? him off. Watch. Thank you for saving my life, Diego. That's all right. I'm sure you'd have managed to find a way out eventually. Yeah, but to be honest, this is a lot quicker. Oh, of course. We Castillos are famous for our ingenuity. Tell me what's happening with this ship. When I got back there, everyone was missing. I was just making everything secure when your friend Bobby showed up. Is Bobby alright? He told me everything. Hillary, the eggs, the villagers. Said he wanted to make amends. I left him defending the ship while I came here to help. Well, that's something then. Father and Briscoe are held prisoner in the altar house. The rest of the crew are elsewhere. Don't worry. We'll free them all now. Ah, <laughs> yes, we will. I have something I must finish. Hillary plans to ransack the maid and then give it to the island shaman. Like heck we're gonna let him do that! Oh, the little runs! When I freed the prisoners, I'll take care of him right enough. Oh, yes we will. I must leave right now. If my plan works, I will save the island spirit. I don't understand. That's not what you said there! I don't have time to explain. Just free the crew and join me later. So, off we go back to the turtles' um, chamber. We don't have much time. One of the guards escaped. He's sure to alert the shaman and the other guards. We have even less time now. The golden turtle's dying. Oh, dear me. How will I ever incubate the egg? I don't know how. Morgan, you must. You got to incubate the egg immediately. Okay, if you insist, let's put it in the incubator. Oh, that's wonderful. Pretty sure that's Tanima talking, not Morgane. I hope I'm in time. You have brought shame on your people. Uh-oh, I think Baba Kare is going to be in trouble. No. Great turtle, I... You are no longer Baba Carey. No. Oh, no. I can't 
okay, this could be bad. You little. Seriously? I can't believe you did that. You little rapscavian. You don't really intend to hurt anyone with that spear, do you? Now, I'm not sure I want an answer. Let's pretend I didn't ask. Okay, you idiot. Shame. Yes. The golden turtle is dead. A young girl is dying. You betrayed your people and turned your back on the turtle. Yes. I now see what has happened. I have been foolish indeed. I allowed Hillary Simpkins to trick me down this evil path. There's one problem with that. Of course, Simpkins has been a terrible influence. Indeed he has. Considering he only recently arrived on the island. Yeah, that's way too quick for you to change after, you know, Worshipping this turtle for years, and then just out of nowhere you get converted to be a traitor. The truth is that you've been plotting against the golden turtle for years, keeping its location secret. I don't have to listen to your accusations. Gods, kill her! <laughs> you are no longer Baba Gary. You cannot command me. Sorry, mate. You're out of luck. <laughs> truth is a powerful thing. Something's wrong with the incubator. Tell me how to fix it. Why should I? I am no longer Baba Carey. Uh, well. I'm sure the guard will gladly tell your people exactly what happened. You have one chance to make amends. Ah, because I am such a magnanimous person, I feel I should help you. You're just a complete psycho. Let's be honest. There is a secret panel on the lower part of the incubator. But I don't know how to put it right. Why do you have so little knowledge? You were the Baba Kerry. Great spirit eggs only hatch every thousand years. Aha! Oh, wow. Much knowledge was lost when disaster befell our elders. Oh yeah, we were told that. So... There's a secret panel here. The shaman said there's a secret panel. And what you want to do now is place the turtle rod in the panel. And there is the next in line of the golden turtle. Wow. There he is in all his glory. Great Turtle? Yes. This is the new one. Please, can you heal Danima? She's dying. Of course. It is important that she should live. Well, she is healed, but it will be some time before BB Carey regains consciousness. What? Uh, hang on, so not only did he, did he heal her without actually doing anything, is he basically saying she's gonna be the new shaman? People of Turtle Island, listen to the great turtle. Baba Carey was a shaman who betrayed his people, and the golden turtle for whom he was meant to care. He is no longer our shaman, and should never again be referred to as Baba Carey. You're getting what you deserve, mate. He should be punished according to the ways of our people. Tanama will be the new shaman, and will now be known as B.B. Carey. Thank you. Everything's now sorted, I guess. Great Turtle? Yes. I promise to always keep your secret safe. It is good you make such a promise. 
But promises were made once before. Yeah, with Tanner. You mean Buckleberry Tanner? Indeed. His trail of clues led you here. He betrayed the trust of the Golden Turtle. Okay. Yes, Tanner's actions were fortuitous. Without his trail to follow, I would have never saved the spirit egg. Ah, you are right. Your arrival must have been preordained. Surely that says destined. At the island's hour of greatest need, an enlightened savior found the right path. Yep, we came here, we saved the egg. Ah, here they are. Say hello to our prize. Father. Diego released the two of us. Some of the islanders realized what was going on and helped free the crew. Great news, Papa. I mean, Father. I'll always be your Papa. I never dreamt that the Golden Turtle would turn out to be so wonderful. Looks like he got what he wanted after all. Captain Morgan, you've delivered more than I could ever have wished for. I think a handsome bonus is in order. Oh, he's gonna love that. I'll go along with that. Truly, a daughter to be proud of. I can now return home to my wife, a fulfilled and happy man. How many times have I got to say, I don't think your wife is worth the trouble? Seriously! She's insane! Oh my! Excellent! I knew you'd make me proud. How beautiful. Your mother would be so proud of you. There were greater stakes than the fate of the island here. Great Turtle, I promise to always keep your secret safe. Okay, looks like the darkness cleared then. Thank you. Yeah, it did. You do us a great honor by letting us see this. Not even Tanner cast his gaze upon the true beauty of this chamber. Great Turtle? Yes? We will now leave you in peace. Wait, there is one further matter. You want me to do something else? Indeed so. As a reward, I would like you to choose one treasure from the chest before you. Oh, look what's just appeared out of nowhere! The White Gold Skull exists! Saints preserve us! Can it be? The tales of Ruby Heart's treasure must be true. And I'm the only one who knows its whereabouts, me beauties. Yeah, uh, this part is where it gets really weird. This part absolutely makes no sense. Father. The White Gold Skull exists. We have never heard of this the entire game. Wow. Saints preserve us. Can it be? The tales of Ruby Heart's treasure must be true. But this has never been told throughout the entire game. We don't even know what this is. Yes. And I'm the only one who knows its whereabouts. <laughs> and we seem to have a talking skull. Lied to the islanders and used their good faith to serve your interests, Simpkins. You would have let them kill us without batting an eyelid. Castile, Castile. Oh, this is just a terrible misunderstanding. I. You are a ruffian fearing neither God nor man. You respect no rules but your own. These villagers are idiots. Listen. If we join our forces, we could rule this place. Imagine all the gold. Do you really think we want to work for a guy like you? Enough! You don't deserve to be called captain or even a pirate. You're just a... a... Stinky cockroach! Stinky cockroach! Thank you, Uncle Eduardo! The tide will go out soon, Captain. It's time to set sail. We're leaving you here, Simpkins. The islanders have your ship as compensation. Oh, he is so screwed! What? You... you had no right! How would I ever leave this place? That is not my problem. And if you cross a Castillo again, you won't live to regret it. Father, you'll let him leave after all he's done? Yes, Morgane. For I am not like this man. 
But there's more. Sometimes, life can be worse than death. I'm leaving you here, Simpkins. Farewell. Stinky cockroach! Stinky cockroach! Yep. Simpkins is totally lost in his own world now. He's stuck here and can't do a thing. I disagree with my father on this point. I knew it. You and I are of the same kind, Morgane. We could share so much wealth. I wasn't thinking about the gold. I was thinking about a suitable punishment. Thank you! That was awesome! That... that hurts! How dare you! <laughs> oh, farewell, Simpkins. An ocean between us won't be enough to protect you from my vengeance, Morgane. Really? The you... Castillo will pay for that! I swear it! Fear my wrath! Yeah, right. I'm hungry. Find me something to eat? Now I'm bored and thirsty. Be quiet. I'm sleeping here. An ocean won't be distant enough to protect you from my vengeance. Uh, okay. That's basically it. That's basically the end of the game. That is the end of Captain Morgane and the Golden Turtle in such a way that it seems like there was supposed to be another game after this, but I don't think there ever was. Right, I'm going to say this. Let me go over my thoughts. I do really enjoy this game. It is a really fun game in my opinion. The characters are really humorous at times. Really like the characters. There are some really awkward moments like with... Um, the captain, um, when he gets upset in the beginning because of his wife's death, that got a bit uncomfortable. But other than that, that was okay. Diego is so awesome. I really like Diego because he's so over the top at times. But in such a way, he's quite, he's quite a loyal man. And he's so funny at times. And Morgane is a good character, I think. I think she's a good character in all in all. I will say, though, the puzzles of the game are really complex at times. I swear, the puzzles are just, some of them are so stupid. They make no sense. Half the time, you need a flipping walkthrough to know how to solve these puzzles. This is one of those games, without a guide, I could not have finished the game. But I have. But the thing is, I was also a bit awkward that Hilary Simpkins and Barbara Carey at the end were the main villains. Hilary had been spoken about throughout the game for every so often. You hear about him, how cold-hearted and ruthless he is. But then Barbara Carey appears at the end, quite briefly to be honest. And he, after that, doesn't come back. And that's the end of the game. And the other thing is, that treasure you get at the end. Where did that come from? You just said you got a talking skull that spoke about some sort of hidden treasure that has never been spoken of in the game at all. That ending made me feel like they were going to make a sequel to this, but they never did. Uh, I, would, I would like a sequel, though. I would like that. Oh, and before I forget, I flipping love Uncle Eduardo. He's very briefly in the game, to be honest. But I, I, this parrot is awesome. I really like him in the end. I was, I was really shocked when you find out he's actually the parrot and you think Uncle Eduardo is your uncle who disappeared at sea. No, he's your father's parrot. That was a good plot twist that I really didn't see coming. I did like that plot twist. But in all, I am very happy with this game. I think it's a really well... It's a very good point and click. But I think they went a bit overboard with how you solve the puzzles. Some of the puzzles just were a tad stupid. So yeah, that's the end of the game. And I hope you all enjoyed this Let's Play. And... Yep, that's about it. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you for another Let's Play in the future. Thank you all, and I'll see you another time.